Hello and uh, good afternoon and welcome to what is promising to be a very interesting discussion and I welcome the people who are with us in the audience. My name is Wallace Kantai and I'm not an entrepreneur, I'm a person who asks entrepreneurs questions. I want to give it over to Vimal before I introduce anyone else because Vimal is going in your house. What are we doing here? I think uh, we're basically discussing this issue of entrepreneurship. Uh, right now in Kenya we're talking about entrepreneurship, it's a buzzword. And I think the Kenyan entrepreneurship spirit that exists all across, it's important to disclose that, to open up, and to really get our youth to feel that they can also be entrepreneurs. I think entrepreneurship is the biggest opportunity that anybody has in terms of making progress in this country. I think technology is the biggest enabler. It's a game changer for the world. And I think uh, if you look at everything now, enabled by technology, you will scale up so much more faster You'll be able to do ease, uh, there's ease of you know, a global village, and you can reach the world immediately. Um, without technology today, if you look at all the large companies, which were non existent 10 years ago, most of them will be enabled by technology. So if you look at all those uh, new forms of business, you talk about Uber, you talk about Facebook, WhatsApp, they're taking over the space. Uh, yeah, I think for me it's just that uh, I, I grew up where I didn't have, you know, access to electricity and so I decided that we need to do something about it. So I created a simple uh, solar um, lighting system uh, which I simplified in a way that it can be made you know, with some of the materials that are available locally and, and through that uh, we work so that we can you know, provide opportunities for other young people to know that you don't need to have you, know, you, don't, you don't need to have a college degree for you to be able to do something. Uh, it's, uh, we need to make sure that we simplify technology so that it can be more relevant to majority of people. And so that's uh, for me what I try to do. And then through that, I've learned that of course technology is good to enable you know businesses processes to, to, to expand faster. But also, I still believe that the human element in everything I understand is really critical. Let me clarify something here. Technology is a very big word. And every time we keep dumping it on the table, we keep talking technology to young people, people don't understand what you're talking about. I, and I think Evans here is raising an important point to say that it's about relevance of the technology that is important. What technology is relevant to your business? Now, you see that I went backwards. That, that is not true at all because, again, like I said, uh, this was a personal dream. I had to go and transform the place where I grew up because you know, it brought me up and so forth. And, it so happened that for me to accomplish all the goals that I had, I had to create something physical. If you're looking for information, if you're looking for um, specific ideas or how to grow your business or how to grow your leadership skills, whatever it may be, you have that too at your fingertips. And I think that's the relevance. Interesting thoughts from people who have actually managed to make it, but like they told you, it's not always easy, it's not always obvious. But um, if you have a passion for this thing, let us know what you're thinking. There's lots of these conversations going on. This particular and continuous hashtag, uh, Bitcoin Live. On the 25th of July 2015, we have the Global Entrepreneurship Summit President Barack Obama of the US is going to be here in Nairobi with a lot of entrepreneurs from both the US and Kenya and all sorts of other places being there. But let this conversation continue. There's a lot more of this happening. But for now, thank you for being with us and goodbye.